Hi. <laughs> this is Kat. I'm on my roof. Um, I guess maybe I don't need my hat on up here, but I'm attempting to do a plein air demonstration. Uh, and oh my gosh, it's taken me probably 45 minutes to figure out where to be for this to work. So I'm trying being up on the roof because um, I wanted to paint this tree and I wanted you to be able to see what I'm doing. So what I've done is found my spot and I'll be holding the viewfinder up. I really want to see the trunk and the light through. I mean, you can kind of see from what I'm holding up right now. I like the negative and positive spaces in there of the sky through the tree. So it might end up being a little abstract. Here's my panel I'm gonna work on. And so far my viewfinder has the marks there so that I can proportionally, <laughs> so that I can look at my panel and judge from the marks where a branch is. Like, is it near the middle? Is it off to one side or the other a little? So I can measure in proportion. And I've got my friend Patouche here, who's hopefully not gonna knock anything over. So let's get started. Um, I will try and talk through this. I'm not sure how much it's gonna work though. Okay, is that good? I'm just hoping my arm does not get in the way here a lot. Okay, we're kind of gonna go with just I'm seeing. Um, hoping to get some trunk in. That. Good lord, can you even see what I've drawn? Okay. Um, once you've got your basic sketch in, then you've got, you've kind of got your stuff locked into the periphery. So you've got everything locked into your board at this point. So that's when you can go back in, so you can remember what you were looking at, and start doing a few little refinements. So that you have a, have a better idea of where you were. Wanting, I'm trying to get the light I'm trying to emphasize some of the shapes that I see that are important to me. It doesn't really matter to anybody but me what I want this to do. Okay. Okay. Um, gosh dang. I don't know if you can really see this or not. I think I'm just going to keep going and we'll hope for the best here. <laughs> Hi again. It's me out on the deck on the roof. Um, so here's my sketch. I forgot to mention that what I do love to do is I love to use graphite pencils and draw with graphite pencils on black. And this is a wood cradle panel. I'm trying to stay in the shade because I think that'll be easier for you to see. And I know it's hard to see this and I don't know the best angle for you to be able to let's see if I hold it exactly like that. You can see them. It's like they disappear, my pencil lines. Um, I think I'm going to have to not worry about that. So I'm not going to need the viewfinder because I've got everything drawn here. And what I'm going to do now is start painting. So here's my Stay Wet palette. Darn it, that's what I wanted you to be able to see this. But, okay, there's my, my colors I'm going to use. I put some goop on top. I have my brushes right here and I have a paper towel. And I am going to just start. Um, unfortunately for this video, I guess I'm not going to be able to show you the palette with the mixing happening. Um, yeah, I guess this is, this is more of a demo thing. So, let's see. What I want to do is I'm going to try putting in some of the, the sky, what did Francesco call them? Sky, sky holes? Something like that? Because, let's see.
Hi. <laughs> this is Cat back and I've got my fantastic assistant here, Dwayne, because I figured it's going to help if you can see what I'm mixing as well as seeing what I'm painting. So, again, it's the pine tree. I'm trying to do negative space and then I've got, I put some extra color in here. I actually put a little teal blue in, but I don't know that I'm going to even use that. Um, and yeah, I am having an issue with my panel because I didn't treat it first. So I'm telling you everything that you probably don't need to know. Um, and again, it's like that is the truth. I'm trying to pay attention to the truth and not be distracted by all the fun little whimsies that are happening. And once I get my brush loaded with paint, I'll go kind of far with it. So I don't want it really heavy, but I use my, um, I use water and I use the medium. So the medium is the white goop that I have on there. Okay, where was I there? So easy to get lost. That goes up there, this comes down. This went up. I feel like something's not quite going where I want it to. I want this to go off in an appropriate manner. And then there's this other wonderful bendy back behind there. A little bit of plein air is also a little bit of imagination. It's not all going to be... It's not a photo. Some people are better at that than others, but... A little photo. Okay, I'm blathering again. It's really fun to try talking and painting at the same time. You should give it a go! It's like teaching. This is that part. This goes there, this goes here. There's a little more in there. Okay, that's just, it's a puzzle. And some things you're gonna have to just make decisions on. So can you see my palette here? So I've got this purple that I made that I'm using for the trunk, because I really love it. And just kinda, um, bump, bump. I've got the main color that I like, and then I'm pulling in some blue and I'm pulling in some yellow. So it's like muddying it a little bit, but it's it's spicing it up too, so that I get a variety of that same color. Because there's a lot of different stuff going on in that bark. Gosh, I think this is getting a little dry too. So I have a squirty, but it's getting too dry. That's something that happens in plein air painting too, is you get it's kind of wild how fast things can dry out. And then you lose it again and you're like, where was I? This is a lot bluer, but I kind of like that. Let's see, I'm on the big shaggy one that's going back behind this guy. So this guy needs to come forward, so this guy's gonna fade a little bit. I'm gonna put some more white in there. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Funny how that happens. Nobody calls ever. Okay, I want it more purple though. Now this is where you might go, oh my gosh, I have a huge mess in my palette box. And if that happens, you can wipe it out. You can totally just take a paper towel and wipe it out. You can take a piece of paper and wipe it out. <laughs> um, you can forge on ahead. Actually, scooped some of this out of there, so I'm just using the brush to pick it up out of there because I like the I like the purple I had going, and I kind of lost that. So I'm gonna see if I can pull that back in again. This color over here, which is actually purple with a, a little bit of yellow, but not enough yellow to make. There we go. Not enough yellow to make it green. Enough to get it. In there. I think some of this is going to end up needing to lighten up too. That's what happens also when you're working on black. Let's see. For some reason, this branch is really important to me <clears throat> to see how I'm going to resolve it 
back on this side, there's something, it feels like a pivotal moment in the piece. Hi, Trish. So I'm gonna attempt to get some of the greenery <clears throat> going in here too. So um, I want a little bit darker green, so I pull a little bit of magenta in there. And it's it may not even be green. I may leave a lot of this black, but I'm kind of wanting to <coughs> indicate where it is. <laughs> Boy, it is really allergy season, isn't it? <clears throat> you can talk to me, Dwayne. You don't have to continue. Not as bad as it was yet. One of my crickets coming back. Well, I think this is the real one, and we had kind of a fake one. Earlier. So, pines are fun. Oops, that's not a branch. I mean, that's not a... <laughs> Acrylic is pretty darn forgiving, though. I think I've talked to people who paint in um, watercolor, and they get frustrated because you can't... If you can't change things out, it'll make up its mind on you, and then you have to go with it. But with acrylic, you can go back over stuff. Um, and I'm kind of doing anti-watercolor just about with painting on black. Boy, gosh, it's so true how the light changes, too, though. It's like I'm seeing things have totally changed in the... It's probably been out here for a half an hour. No, it's probably been 40 minutes by this point. But I've got more light on my tree over here by my cat's tail. Tushi, you are so not helping. Okay. I think I'm just going to kick a little bit more on here than I'm going <clears> to <throat> let Dwayne stop and I'll finish it up and post what I've gotten done with. But I, it's, it's kind of really awkward to paint this way with that and worry about it. But I'll finish it up and then I'll show you. <laughs> Thank you. <coughs>